but I need to underscore one point. To find the people responsible is going to take a unified international effort. No one nation, not even the United States, can do it on its own. And we must have the full cooperation of the Russians, of the states in the Middle East, because I think the assumption that that's the region where this was planned is pretty solid. And, and I repeat this again, any nation that is seen to have harbored or abetted or sheltered any of these people must be treated as co-equally responsible. They cannot hide behind the facade we just saw in the remarks of the Taliban foreign minister. And Peter Bergen's uh, extraordinarily insightful explanation a few minutes ago on C CNN, I think, is the first real glimpse into that, that the viewers have had into how dangerous this is. If the Taliban shelters Osama bin Laden, as they do, and if Osama bin Laden is responsible for this, as I think almost everyone is going to suspect, then the Taliban must be held equally responsible for what has happened today. Jeff? And Ambassador Holbrook, what can, I'm, I'm, I would like you to be specific. What does that mean? Are you talking about a retaliatory strike is against Jeff? Afghanistan? Yeah, that's Jeff. It's Jeff Greenfield. I'm sorry. I'm Hi, Jeff. No. Is that what you mean? That if 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 put the put the links together. No, I, let me be Jeff. Let me be let me be very frank. And I, I don't want to I don't want to lapse into uh, bloody-minded uh, verbal excesses at a moment of high emotion. But let's be very blunt about this. If a country or regime, the Taliban, or some other regime to be determined by the intelligence community, has sheltered people who played a role in this. They cannot hide behind the uh, attributes of they didn't know it, they had nothing to do with it. They must cooperate in the pursuit of the people responsible. And since the Taliban a leader has been publicly proclaimed by Osama bin Laden as the, uh, as the present spiritual leader of the Muslim world. I'm referring to bin Laden's de declaration that Mullah Muhammad Omar is the rightful leader of the spiritual leader of the Muslim world, something he said on tape, quoted by John Burns in the New York Times two days ago. And uh, if, in fact, these people are in some degree of collusion, I personally believe, and I'm only speaking for myself here, I personally believe that the Taliban should be uh, regarded as co-equally responsible for this, and therefore, if and when we consider military action, it, sh it is fully justified, and, uh, and the Taliban should face the same consequences. 